and let's call it ratio word problems. So the under ratio. Ratio point one word problems. And write down this word problem. Um, Why not? The ratio of football players to band members was 2 to 5. The ratio of football or Facebook players to band members was 2 to 5. Nobody ever paid the band that we have a football. If there were 175 football players and if there are 175 football and band people, how many band members are there? you write that down while I play with the board. Remember back to ratio word problems. Oh, you should have written, or somewhere in your notes, when we do ratio man word problems, we may put this in big letters ratio boxes! Exclamation point. This should be superstarred in quotation marks, parentheses, and whatever else you can do to highlight this. <coughs> Which means this. If you have a ratio word problem, you are going to make a ratio box with the things we are comparing. You've got your ratio, and you have your actual, and you have the things you're comparing. What am I comparing? I'm comparing band people to Facebook users, football players. Okay, And I know that, what is my ratio to band football players to band? we got to make sure we put them in the right place. Charles, there are? Two to five. Two what? Band or two football? Two football. Two football to five band. And then it says if there are 175 band people, where does 175 go? What is 175? Ephraim? No, it is not. It says there are 175 football and band people. It is, ladies and gentlemen, a total. And if you look on our ratio box, we don't have a total there. That is what's new and exciting for today. Sometimes you have to infer some things here. And sometimes you are going to need to add a third layer to your box, a third row, and this row is a total row. And that's what's brand new and exciting. I have to add this total row. And 175 is the total actual band and football players. That 175 goes right here. And then the other thing, you have to do this thing which we call infer, 
What is my total that goes here? Well, it's pretty simple. Because I have five here and two there, I can total them up. It doesn't say that, but I know if I have five band people and seven football players, I have a total of seven band and football players. Five plus two gives me a total of seven. This is my ratio total. This is my actual total. And from there, I can figure out either of these two. Which one do I want to know? I want to know how many band people, so that's this one. I don't need this part right here. I can kind of ignore it because I wasn't asked how many actual football players. I could figure that out in the end. So this is the fraction I need. I have my 5 over my 7, and that equals what I don't know over 135. Now, oh, 75, sorry. Or that 35. No, 75. Now, if you don't know how to go from here to here, this is kind of a tougher one, you know, you are going to have to do the old cross product thing. Remember the whole cross product? Mm -hmm. That's where you multiply this times this. Seven times what number equals five times 175. <coughs> and nobody said life was easy. 175 times 5. Oh, 25, 2, 37, 3. 875. So 7 times what number is 875? You're going to have to divide that out to figure out what it is. Looks like 1, 2, One hundred twenty five band people. Which would mean there'd be how many football players? Fifty. How do I know that? Because twenty five plus fifty. One twenty five plus fifty is one seventy five. So again, you have to be careful when you do the problems. If they ask you for a total, you are gonna have to have three rows of racial problems and things. So here's another example. If the ratio of boys to girls in a class, boys to girls in class, was 5 to 4. If there are 81 boys and girls, boys and girls, how many boys are there? Hopefully at the very beginning you can see that 81 is a total. So in your ratio box, you're going to have to have that total column. So I'm going to need three of them. My ratio, my actual. I'm comparing what? Boys to girls, and then I have a total. Filling in the blanks, where do things go? Olivia, where does five go? Next to the boys. Where does four go, Trevor? Next to the girls. Where does 81 go, Kate? <coughs> huh? Not right here? Yeah. It does not go there. Because okay. 81 is not my ratio total. Oh, it's, it's on the actual 81 is the actual total. So yeah, 81, just be very careful with that. 81 is the actual total. What is my ratio total, CJ? Nine. Nine, because five plus four is nine. And this one's a pretty easy one because you can go from nine to 81 by multiplying by nine. 9, which means I can multiply all of these by 9 and get 36 and 45 with my actuals for boys and girls. They asked me for how many were boys, so that would be this one. Seem doable? It doesn't yes. seem that difficult to do it. 
No, yes, maybe, not. 